I'm pretty excited today to show you a pretty cool boroscope. This is made by Depths Tech. It is the DS660. I did reach out to them and asked if they would send this unit to me so that I can share it with you guys, and they did. It comes in this really nice semi-hard clamshell case, and when you unzip it, you're presented with the tool itself, a USB-C charging cable, a user manual or a guide, and a card with some recommendations. It does have a couple of tricks up its sleeve, and we're going to talk about those in a second, and those particular features are why I really was excited to share this tool with you guys. The device itself fits in my hand, and it feels really good. It does have a 5-inch screen that is diagonal measurement located on the side is a rubber cover. When you open up that rubber cover, you're going to see a couple of things. You're going to see where the SD card is stored. They give you a 32 gig SD card with the purchase. You're also going to see the USB-C charging port, and you're going to see a place to do a reset in case you have to do that. It does operate with seven different buttons, five across the front. There's a power button on top, and there's a trigger button located on the back. Now, the cable itself to the camera or the probe is an armored cable. It is also IP67, so if you accidentally dunk it, it's going to survive. And because it's an armored cable, you can bend it and it'll hold its shape. This could actually be very handy in a lot of situations. Now, the probe has a couple of features in it that I think are really cool. It has a front-facing camera. It also has a sideway-facing camera. There are LED lights that you can turn on and off that point straight ahead. And the side-facing camera also has LED lights that also point in the appropriate direction. Now, let's talk about that cool little feature that I was talking about earlier. There's a lever under my thumb, and when I pull that lever back, that camera will rotate almost all the way back and take a look back at you. So if you're poking this down through a hole and you need to see what's behind you, it'll certainly do that. And if you push it forward, it'll point the other direction. It's a very cool feature and I really like it. It also has a temperature sensor built into the end of the probe. So as you're poking around, you can see what the temperature in that particular area is. The trigger button is designed to take photos or videos. To take a quick picture, you just press it one time and it will take that picture. To take that video, you do a long press. You hold it down for a little bit and it'll start recording. To switch between the cameras and the end of the probe, you just hold this particular button down. And now we're using the side facing camera. It's pointed at the workbench, obviously. And then if you hold it again, it'll do a split screen. It'll use both cameras. We're now using the side camera and we're using the camera pointing out the end of the probe. I think that's pretty cool too. But the question in everybody's mind is, well, how well does it work? And we're gonna find out. So I think a good test is always to go through the top side of my air compressor through the oil fill. And as you can see, we see really good visuals. I can look all around inside. Let's go ahead and use that articulating camera. I can look sideways at the casting marks. I can flip it around the other way and take a look kind of straight down. I am up against something in here. I don't know what that is, but let's go ahead and turn on the sideways camera and take a look. And to change to that side camera, we're gonna press this particular button here and hold it in. Now we're looking out the side camera and I can rotate the actual probe a little bit and take a look. I can also use my thumb and articulate that probe as well. That works pretty well. Let's go ahead and turn it to dual screen. And to do that, we're just gonna press and hold the button one more time. And now we have both cameras on at the same time. And we can articulate around by using this lever again. And we have the camera almost facing back up to the hole. It's almost facing back at us, which is really cool. We can really get a lot of views inside the compressor. We know what's going on and there's some more rust. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I really like it. And that's because of the little tricks it has up its sleeve. We have reviewed articulating cameras like this in the past, but what I have not reviewed is articulating cameras that also have a camera facing out the side. Sometimes you find yourself in cavities where you don't have enough room to articulate the camera and that side facing camera takes care of that problem. But but what a side facing camera can't do is point back up at you. So when you shove something down inside a hole, you can articulate that camera to point right back at you. So if you're trying to look at the top of something, a side facing camera can't do that. So that's why I was really intrigued with this particular setup because it's kind of the best of both worlds. It does have the side facing camera. It does have an articulating camera. The cable is waterproof, it's IP67. So if you were to accidentally put it in some oil, it's gonna survive. The screen is big, it's clear, it's easy to see. I really like it. I think it's a really good buy and we know from the past that Depths Tech makes really good stuff. It's something you can trust. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.